hey people i'm back and this is just gonna be a very short video my new camera so this is basically not really a big upgrade of a new camera because i own the the, the canon eos rebel sl1 before and i had it for like three years and i feel like i need to upgrade since this camera came out i can't wait to upgrade mine and the reason why i want this camera i'm actually happy when it first came out because look my hands are really small you know i'm a small person everything in me is small like yeah so my hands are small and we all know that all the slr camera are huge bulky and heavy and i'm really happy when this first came out the the rebel sl1 or the d100 because it's small like i can hold it with my one hand and it's really light and i really really like it and basically it can do everything that the expensive high-end one does except for some um features that it don't have but you know if you are a newbie and you're starting uh photography or doing videos or doing youtube videos this camera is for me it's the best choice of camera i'm gonna pick this over the mirrorless like the Canon g 7x mark one or n2 because this has like more professional look and uh feel to it of course you know packed with features that the canon g7x don't have and right now i'm actually using my phone camera my samsung s8 plus and i know i look crap i don't even see myself but because i'm not using the the secondary camera i'm using my main camera and i don't have mirror in front of me so i know i look crap i know that you guys can see all my pores all my imperfections that I, my face looks like a mess but who cares i actually got rid of my my sl1 before i bought it because i don't have like money to buy one so i need to to sell it and luckily there's a photography student who saw it online and she bought it for me and so i just add like a couple hundred dollars and got it because this one retails for 649 675 or something like that yeah and i got it yesterday at best buy although um i see like you can get the same price at amazon with like bundles with other stuff included but I can't wait i need to make a video and i need a camera so i decided to get it at best buy instead and as long as it has um lens in it battery in it i'm good to go so oh so yeah i'm mumbling too much and let's get to the business let's open this so this one is the eos rebel rebel sl2 or they call it like a d200 and it has an EFS 1855 ISSTM kit. This one is actually 24.2 megapixel compared compared to the SL1, which is only 18 megapixel, 18.0 something megapixel. And also the ISO in this one is higher than the SL1. And I'm not sure about the frame rate. Uh, and then huge reason why I really wanted to upgrade in this one is because first it's 24 megapixel and then it has a wi-fi and it has a bluetooth and the screen flips over which the rebel sl1 don't do so i really need it because every time i film a video i need to either put a mirror behind my camera or i have an external uh small screen but you know the quality of the picture isn't great so I really wanted to get an SLR camera that has a flip over or sideways screen and I'm really happy that this came out so thanks Canon yes. <laughs> so when you open it it has this Bible the Canon Bible I call manual a Bible because they always like thick but the English part is just maybe just this and then the rest are Spanish and other languages so there's that and then like some kind of a warranty and then this is how if you want to like I think if you want to register your Canon in the website yeah and then when you open it 
<gasps> There's the battery. It has battery. Let's see the battery. It comes with one battery. Ooh, nice. And then, of course, it has to have the battery charger. Woohoo! It's the same battery charger as the as the one. It's like a brick, and you plug it direct to the outlet. And then now I need to save money to get the 1.8 millimeter um, lens because I really wanted that one. So it comes with this, you know, more basic lens. It's the same lens as the one that I got when I uh, got my uh, Rebel SL1. It's the it's EFS 18-55 millimeter. Uh, with 0.25 slash 0.8 FT blah 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 and it's autofocus but it, it ha and of course the autofocus manual focus and stabilizer on and, on and off stabilizer and then they got a free strap oh free strap that's cool my main surprise And there's nothing more in the box. This is the Canon EOS Rebel SL2 slash D200. To be honest, it looks the same, feels the same. It's just that the SL1, like all this um, headphone jack, mic jack, the HDMI and the um, USB port are all located in this part on this side like four of them but now uh, mic and the headphone jack is on this side and then they put the HDMI and the USB port on the right side like right here but the uh, battery and SD card uh, slot are still in the same spot so actually like uh, some like a little difference from the SL1 like the buttons are are different these are more this this uh like the bottom has like a metallic silver feel not like just black plastic look and also the on and off button are different uh and the iso and the display button are kind of like different and i feel like this part here is like more extended now compared to the sl1 and but the bottoms right here are all the same and of course the flip screen oh my god Hi, i'm a vlogger do you vlog bro no i don't have, i don't want to vlog i'm not a vlogger but yeah it still feels the same it still feels like i'm holding the rebel sl1 with kind of like different but yeah the weight the look uh okay let's put it on the video actually i can tell that the video is crisper because it's 24 megapixel compared to the 18 megapixel so i can really tell that the quality of the picture is better so it's not really like a big upgrade because it's basically just upgrading to the same camera but you know with more updated and upgraded version and if you are new to photography and if you're new to youtube and you want to buy camera i really really recommend this because this is light it is small and it can basically do all the the huge more expensive dslr camera can do some features that it don't have but i can get over with this clip screen and yeah it has a three inch screen but my battery is already dead so i need to charge it so yeah guys i'm not gonna go uh lead into uh its features because i'm not a tech gadget reviewer and i want it for its size and for its features and uh for the price point it's really a good camera for its price 650 for this dslr and you can't go wrong with that so someday i'm gonna buy the three thousand dollar dslr camera and a two thousand lens and yet i'm still gonna make a crappy video because guess what it's my video thanks you guys for watching and i can't wait to make my uh, my new video using this camera and you know starting my vlogging career if there's any
which I really don't. So, see you guys in the next one, and I wish bye! Up here.